many Ruby programmers know that I will ask this question. Uh, do you see the trend of Ruby people switching to Elixir? Are you aware of oh, this trend? Yes, uh, yes. Uh, not, not switching to Elixir, no, okay. no, no, no. But uh, I guess because of the way Elixir looks like, um, in terms of the syntax. Yeah, it's right? almost the same. Yeah, it's almost the same. And uh, part of our audience um, actually asked us to do something about Elixir. That's true. Okay. That's uh, public. We have this fuck tracker. It's utrack.chefprince.com. Mm -hmm. And there is slash Ruby slash issues. So you can see all the current. Yeah, that, that's really nice of you, by the way, because I, 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 yeah. I watch this progress. So. Oh, you, you yeah. did? Oh, yeah. That's cool. That's cool. And uh, that's very important for us. That's how we uh, process uh, the, 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 the data from our users to understand what's going on. Yeah, it's, so it's very we use it every day. It's very transparent. Yeah. Yes, it's completely public. And so I'm uh, downvoting all the Elixir ones, you know? <laughs> <laughs> no, I'm just kidding. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I see. So, but there is um, a, a ticket there is, uh, that says, hey, do something with the Elixir support, add support mm -hmm. for Elixir. And there is a third party plugin um, developed uh, for uh, IntelliJ and RubyMine. Mm -hmm. um, so it exists. Uh, you can install a plugin I for that. I think I tried it when I was trying Elixir some time ago. Maybe, yeah. Yeah, I, I, remember, I remember something about it. Mm -hmm. So uh, Okay, so no official support yet. It's there on the tracker, but... So the just to, yeah, yeah, just to clarify this, uh, there, there are currently no trends to add uh, official support for Elixir. Okay. And um, yeah, we'll, but we are we keep an eye on it, and it's really easy to keep an eye because uh, if it's really necessary, people will come and use caps lock uh, in our chat, for mm -hmm. instance. Or I mean, I keep an eye on it, and I I, I will know when it's mm -hmm. when it's time to do something about it. But unfortunately, we don't have any resources right now to do that as well. Mm. Yeah, that, that's the problem with Elixir. Like some people who know me, they. I've recorded like controversial video like three years ago why, why I'm oh. not switching to Elixir, mm -hmm. which was very controversial because that was a big trend like three years ago, two years ago. And uh, I really like Elixir for the technical kind of arguments uh, because it has much better way of concurrency built in. Erlang mm -hmm. is fa a fantastic virtual machine. Uh, I mean, the Erlang can live on a virtual machine. The whole idea of processes, I, I really like it. Um, but now, now the business perspective, mm -hmm. uh, the economy perspective, I just don't see Elixir as a viable market. That's something that I'm worried about. Mm -hmm. and, but I do see a trend that many smart Ruby programmers uh, either switched completely to Elixir or they like partially switched. So they do Ruby over day and Elixir in the night. <laughs> um, and this uh, bothers me a little bit. Obviously, it's their decision and, and, and it's fine. but. It bothers me because what I see they are doing mostly is like they are re-implementing the missing Ruby libraries. Oh, I see. So their huge intelligence and their huge potential intellectual capabilities are used, you know, by just porting okay. stuff. And obviously they are doing their a lot of new stuff, and there are some interesting ideas that I'm also borrowing from the Elixir community. But I just I'm just worried that uh, you know we are losing the human human potential. Um, for Elixir, mm -hmm. and if it if it's for a good cause that Elixir will suddenly become I don't know the language number five in the world or something that then that's great. Mm -hmm. I'm just worried that this will not happen. Oh, and I, see. I see. I see that. I see this then as a waste a little. You bit. don't see enough rationale. Yeah. I see. Like the the whole Ruby revolution when it started in 2004 with Rails, it was just much bigger reason to switch. I was one of the people switching from Java to Ruby, and I never really looked back. Mm -hmm. And Elixir, if Elixir started in 2004, that would be Elixir revolution, but mm -hmm. it's, it's, it's now the market is different. And if you look at from, from the market perspective, you always need to know which target you are actually like, who is your target and mm -hmm. where do you want to grab the market from? And Elixir definitely is targeting Ruby, even if they are not aware of this, they are doing this. Mm. Mm, but Ruby is like too small to be like a good source of the <laughs> land to probably, grab, I, probably, I don't know yes. to, how to call it. So. It's, it's yeah, just my it's opinion. I didn't mean to offend any Elixir developers who are watching this, but you know, it's, it's just... Yeah, I can second that. I mean, uh, that's that's the insight you get as, 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 as a technical person uh, in the beginning, right? In, in the input to mm -hmm. this black box called Elixir. And I, am as a marketing person, can tell you uh, who knows the market data from the output uh, or from the market side. Uh, for now, there are not enough uh, production. Uh, I mean, there is not enough businesses that use Elixir mm -hmm. in production, and unfortunately or fortunately, I don't know. Mm -hmm. That's just um, data that I get. 
So, uh, so yeah, I, this actually supports uh, mm -hmm. also your opinion, I think, in a way that hmm? it's not that huge, at least.